Grampy, how you going? Boys, Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Boys, I'm glad you dropped in today. Uh, the weather broke here. Uh, it stopped raining finally, but that's not bad with all the fires we've had here in Nova Scotia. A week of rain was certainly a welcome thing. But anyway, it stopped raining, I think, yesterday. So uh, I was out this morning and I finished putting together the roof trusses and I remembered the PL premium this time. So the roof trusses are all assembled and they're... Uh, or the roof rafters, sorry, the roof rafters are all assembled. They're down there hanging on the walls. And uh, the other week when uh, my sons were out here working on the wall, trying to get that front wall to sit down, they did a great job getting that to sit down there and good. But the building is just quite not plumb. Uh, you know what the old man is like, kind of fussy. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and plumb the wall up a little bit better. And I thought I'd take you along because uh, my setup is kind of, you know, backwoodsy. <laughs> so let's go have a look, see how I make out. So the bugs are bad, so I've got my bug jacket on, but right now I've got the face turned down because it's kind of breezy right now. But anyway, uh, there's my trusses, my, my rafters. I keep calling them trusses, but they're all set to go. But what I have to do here is, if you look at the boathouse there, it looks like it's tipped to the left. I hope it does to you because it does to me. And to prove my uh, <laughs> analysis, If you can see the bubble in there, it looks like the top's got to come to the right uh, about an inch. Not bad. I think we might be able to do that. This side, that's, well, pretty level. It could go towards the lake a little bit at the top, but anyway, the other thing i got to show you is, look at the level I'm using, eh? <laughs> that bevel is broken. <laughs> this one up here only works on one side of the level. <laughs> yeah. Found it in the road. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what I'm going to try and do uh, to pull the building towards me, this corner here, I have to pull that towards us. I have a chain wrapped around the top plate. You can see that there. So that chain comes down and it's almost long enough to reach my come along, which goes way over there and is strapped to a big old maple tree. One of the last ones standing. Anyway, just because it doesn't reach doesn't mean we can't do this job. I also have another strap. So we're going to try and gear this up and hook this together. So when I do that, I'll come back and show you what's up. you've made any difference. Not yet. Doesn't seem to be making a big difference. That made a difference. Check this out. Hope you can see the bubble there. See it moving? Right between the lines. Not bad. It's close enough for me. <laughs> Let's go look at it from up the hill. I don't know, man. Still looks like it's tipped to the left to me. And then the other thing I was checking was down here. Where did I show you? At the back side of the boathouse. Check that out. 
see that deck block right there? Well, that two by six was set right down in the deck block and now it's raised up to the top of it. So that's not what I was after. <laughs> Tipping the whole building over. So that corner there, that wall is plumb. Well, <laughs> so let's check this one. And that looks pretty good too. But when we check this one, it definitely has to go out towards the lake some there on that corner. Over here. That's pretty straight. And then down here. That's pretty straight too. There's a big there's a big twist in the boathouse somewhere, is eh? That one is pretty plumb. Pretty plumb. <laughs> And that one shows it having to go to the boathouse a little, or to the lake, I mean. So, as far as that gap goes under that uh, deck block, I can put something under there to support that. So what I did was, I took some pressure treated 2x4, and my idea is I'm going to put one right in there, and then this one's going to go across the front. And hopefully be okay because these two by four are lining up with the uh, floor joists of the building so I also have a couple of screws here I would like to put in here I think that's going to take care of this corner but then there's also a deck block right here so I've got a piece of two by four here I think I'm going to put the inch and three quarter piece in there so now I'm going to let the building down see what happens <laughs> isn't this exciting well a minute ago it was raining now the sun's out again and the black fires are coming back uh, before I let the building down I just want to check for level It looks like it's tipped too far to the right, which is what I want, because I'm going to set it back down here straight. Let's go check the other corner. I was never ever called a structural engineer. Now you know why. So same thing here. This one is uh, too far to the right. So I'm going to take the tension off my come along, see what happens. Now just before I take the tension off, I just want to, if you check the roof line on this front wall, it doesn't look too bad, but the back wall really, really looks like it's dipping on the right hand side, right? Certainly is not, doesn't look square from here. But I'm hoping that that back corner, when I take the tension off, will sit down a ways and those walls will line up a little bit better. So it'll be interesting to see. Keep an eye on it, see what it looks like. So the tension's off the building, but that left corner still looks high, doesn't it? I'm going to go check with the level. That front corner there right now is perfectly level. I'm going to go check the back. corner is level, or plumb I mean, but the far right corner is not plumb. So I wonder if I don't raise that up a little bit, what well, that would do.
Well, I have to tell you a story. <laughs> Get ready. This corner here is up now an inch and a half. Uh, the other corner is down as far as it'll go. Down, well, it, I've raised it up two and a half inches, three and a half inches. This uh, middle one here is floating right now. But when I put the level on the wall, it's almost level, but it has to come back towards the tractor. Oh, uh, the niche at the top. And this one here is level. Right? So this wall is plumb in that corner. On that side, anyways. But on this one, it has to go back to the lake. Right? A lot. But on this one, she's pretty near plumb. It's got to go towards the tractor a little bit at the top. This corner here, it's got to go towards the lake, that's what we figured. And this side is plumb. So when we check here, this one is plumb. Well, almost. It could go away from the lake a little bit. <laughs> and that wall is plumb. Now, so after doing all that, what's my conclusion? It looks like this front corner of the wall here has to come towards the lake a little bit at the top. That's the one that the boys were fighting with, right? And even when you look down here at the base, you can see at the base if you can make it out there, uh, that panel is raised up about an inch or so off the sole plate. So yeah, it could have went that way a little bit more. But, when I check the floor for level, watch this now. Now, if you can see that, let me get the bubble a bit together there. It's, uh, it's level. And when I check this side, That's level. And when I check this side, that's level. And when I check this corner, that's level. <laughs> so what do you do? <laughs> Ah, uh, boy, I'm telling you. The floor is level. The walls aren't all plumb. So you can get the floor level, not the walls plumb. But also, when you look here now, at this roof line, it's still a little bit of skew, but not as bad as it once was. I built enough roofs in my day. It seems to me that if your building is not square, plumb, and true, <laughs> your roof is going to be screwed up too. <laughs> But anyways, oh man, I think short of uh, stripping all the paneling off the walls to try to plumb everything up, I think this is about as close as I can get it. So that's it. <laughs> it's as close as I can get it. <laughs> so it's nice to get the rafters finished. They're all, rip they're all set up there now, ready for when the boys come out. Uh, we can put them up. And uh, you know, the boys, speaking of the boys, they worked hard trying to get that building straight and true and plumb. Uh, but it seemed like it was racked still a little bit to the left to me uh, when I was looking at it from the camp. So, well, you saw what I did. <laughs> I don't know if I made it any better or any worse, but uh, anyways, I'm thinking I'm going to let the Liberals have that building, use it as their headquarters because it's slightly crooked. <laughs> anyways, thumbs up me. Let me know what you think of my uh, rig I had set up there to try to pull that building back square, eh? <laughs> have a great week, folks. We'll talk to you soon.